Hi, this is Bo Astrup. This is just a quick response to um, a question regarding click track. So, in DP, the down and dirty thing is here we have the metronome, and as soon as you just, uh, I just turn it off, you turn it on, and if I want to configure it, I double click on it, and this shows up. Now, here, First of all, we can have multiple types of click. Uh, right now, I only click the audio one. I could do it for visual, which will be an overlay for video. I can do a MIDI click, uh, so it sends out via MIDI, which is uh, controlled over here, but audio. So this is where we can hear it. Um, and that's pertaining to the visual punches. We won't leave that. So the options here is always click, only click during counter off, or only click when DP is recording. This means if I click down here, there will only be an audible click whenever I am recording in DP. Very cool. I can also set I don't want an accent at all, and audition click means that I can hear what I'm doing right here. Uh, with the audio click, the most important thing here is you can set the output of your audio click. This means it should be set to your main out for your interface, otherwise you won't be able to hear it. But you could actually send it to a bus, which means you can set up a track, aux track or an audio track. If you set up an audio track, you can actually record the click, which can be very helpful. Uh, so you can manipulate the click uh, where you want it on, off, whatever you want to do, and do kinds of automation for it to come in and out uh, in terms of uh, being audible. Next thing is with a click here, we have the accented click and the normal click. And you can change the sound uh, for the accented click. And leave the normal click. Here's the overall uh, volume for the click. And here you have individual audio for the accented click and the uh, normal click. So right now you will hear uh, it's, uh, the downbeat being louder uh, than the three other beats in the 4-4. Four four. So then you can change the click patterns here uh, whatever uh, meter you want, um, what kind of tempo or, or pattern, you can do different patterns. And so this is my 4-4, uh, we can change the beat value of, of the click and so on and so forth. So it's, it's very powerful. So now set is done. So here you can see it's 4-4, uh, our our click is set to 120 for the quarter note. However, what I like to do, that is, let's look at the conductor track, it's more easy to see it here. Uh, going the, to conductor track, go here to the event list, set this to use the conductor track instead of the tempo slider. Uh, so instead of using this to set my tempo or double click here and just type in the tempo I'll put it here and it says conductor now now it's governed by the conductor track and the first thing I'll do here in the event list I have selected the conductor there I will go here doing first set a meter change on bar one beat one tick number one four four and the click will be a quarter click okay now it shows up here at 4-4. Four, four. The next thing I'll do here is do a tempo change and click again, type in 1100 zero, zero, and my uh, quarter tempo will be 80 in this case. Now you can see this becomes uh, purple, which like this is the tempo. So if I change this to tempo, you will see here's the BPM values up here. So if I want to change the uh, BPM value for some reason, I can actually uh, drag this up, or eventually, whenever I'm I'm done with it, I can take the pencil tool 
and do a little tempo change right there in bar number six or whatever whatever you want to do so it's much much easier to manipulate and the next thing I can do of course is saying oh let's go to bar eight there and do a meter change so at bar eight I can do a meter change to uh, three four and you'll see all the following bars have now changed to 3-4 it tells me a little thing here but I want to go back to 4-4 at bar number 9 so I'll do another meter change at 9-1-0 and I'll go back to 4-4 four, four. there you go so now I have one bar of 3-4 here in the middle of uh, a lot of 4-4s four and then I could uh, say let's pick up the the tempo at bar number 15 so I'll change here to tempo change go 15 1 0 and pick it up to 95 and there I have a tempo change so now when I play this You hear it slow down, come to 3-4, back to 4-4, four, four, and the tempo went up there. Very powerful.